We will begin by taking a quick tour of the online application, including showing you how to create an account, start a new application, and use the system's special features. Accounts are associated with individual users and are not used company-wide. If a company applying for a credit wants three different employees to work on an application, the CEO, head of HR, and CFO, for example, then each of them would need to create their own account. One of these individuals would then create an application and add the additional account holders as users. First, let's create an account. Go to www.calcompetes.ca.gov and click on the Create an Account button. Type in your information, including first name, last name, title, company, and enter in an email address, which will be the username for your account. Then click Create Account. Please keep in mind that the company field in this process is not necessarily the same as the name of the company applying for a credit. For instance, if you are a representative of a nonprofit technical assistance provider helping multiple companies to apply, the company field in this section would be the name of your organization and not the name of the clients you are helping. Now that we are back on the main page, enter in your email address into the box and click Email Key. One of the great things about our application is that you do not need to remember a password. Instead, an email like this one will be sent to you with a six-digit key code to log into the system. Enter the key code into the box and click Log In. You must request a new email key every time you log into the system. Key codes will expire 30 minutes after they are sent. Now that we have created an account, let's create an application. You can create an account at any time, but you can only create an application during an open application period. Please click the link for more information on the next open application period. Click on Create a new application. Enter in the applicant's legal business name, its current tax year, and the end date of its current tax year. It is important to remember that when creating an application, you are no longer an individual. You are the business that is applying for the tax credit. So the legal business name should be the actual, whole, complete legal name of the business as registered with the California Secretary of State or as listed on your tax return. We also want to point out that while many businesses file their tax return based on the calendar year, some operate on a fiscal year other than January through December. If you are a calendar year filer, please select 1231 as your accounting period end date. If you are a fiscal filer, you should enter the last day of your tax year. If you are not sure about the last day of your tax year, you can see it on your most recently filed tax return, as shown here. Once you have filled in all of the information, click Create Application. Now that we have created our application, we can find it under My Applications on the home screen. Now let's walk through the features of the system. To start, each of the sections are read and read not started, and the Submit button is not yet enabled. When you click the Save button in a section, it will change it to In Progress on the main screen. Once you have finished a section, click the Complete button, which will mark this box green and say Complete. The application cannot be submitted until all sections are marked as complete by the application user. Let's look at the Options menu. The PDF view of application makes a PDF version of the application which you can download, email, or print. This button has the same function as the Report button on the Application Summary page. The Application Users button lets you give other people access to the application. For example, if you want your CEO, CFO, and Head of HR to all have access to the application, you can add them as users as long as they have already created an account. Once they have created an account, you can go to the screen, enter in their email address, and click Add User to Application. Please keep in mind that application users have full access to edit or delete an application. If you want someone to be able to review your application without making changes, consider sending them a copy of the PDF report discussed on the previous slide rather than making them a user. The History button allows you to revert to an older version of your application. The Copy button lets you copy almost all of the information from your previous application into a new one. If you applied in a previous application period but were not successful, you can use this to reapply so that you do not have to retype all of the information. Finally, we have the Delete Application button, which removes the application from the system. So far, we have created an account, created an application, and learned about the features of the online application system. We will now guide you through each of the 11 sections of the application. Let's begin with contact information.